Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about recovering data that has previously been deleted from the recycle bin. Now, you can imagine the scenario of someone having several important documents, videos, pictures, or anything like that, and somehow they've made their way inside the recycle bin, be it accident, kids, anything, or if it's in a folder, I don't know, anything like that. Basically, then later in the day, uh, you'll end empty the recycle bin or something, and then you'll realize that, that you've lost your files and then the panic sets in and then you've got to try and find a piece of software that will recover it. Now I have three pieces of software here unfortunately one didn't work which is free and delete so I've uninstalled it um, you might want to try it out though uh, it basically froze halfway through and I had to reboot, reboot the computer because I tried the task ending the task and it still wouldn't get rid of it so um, I've also got restoration and glary and delete so I'm going to perform tests on these two um, basically what I've got is a flash drive which is like a USB thumb drive but it shows up as a hard disk drive it's, I think it's so it can boot or something but I'll show you this a flash drive just remove it and put it back in and as with um, flash drives that appear as removable disks like this you can have a recycle bin for it and when you go to delete a file it will send itself to a recycle bin now I'm there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these files, I've got a 29 page document, a 26 page document, a setup file for glary and delete, a picture, random picture of a dog, and um, so two videos that I've recorded for YouTube previously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now copy them onto my pen drive. Now the pen drive isn't very big, it's about 116 megabytes or something. So, as you can see and what I'm now going to do is put them, I'm just going to delete them so this is just a scenario, do I want to send this recycle bin? Yes so it says the folder macwindows.avi is too big for the recycle bin, do I want to permanently delete it? Yes so that's gone completely now and these, t these five are still in the recycle bin, I'm now going to empty the recycle bin yes so now I've lost all my documents, now what do I do? Ah, I'm going to run around in circles and scream and then I'm going to Google for as many data recovery software as I can. Now I'm going to start with restoration, now I think this process takes quite a while. Um, you can choose the drive and I'll choose flash M here and then you can search, the f search for deleted files and you'll notice that it says do you want to scan vacant clusters? no not for the time being and you'll notice that we've actually got some pieces of software that we can recover so you can see there's an important 29 that's kept um, some of the uh, things for it, it's kept the names uh, some of them is replaced with a dollar but we're going to try and recover these files now so I'm going to go shift nope shift doesn't work uh, restore by copying so we're going to put them on the desk, no we're not, we're going to put them in a restore folder save and it looks like you can't for some reason select more than one, I'm trying to press control here and it's not working um, so I'm going to have to go for them one by one, restore, restore by copying it's a restore folder, restore by copying I apologise if you know how to do this and have we frozen? I think it's because it's a big file there we go and the setup file and uh, we're going to save that as well and we've got several things in M recycled so this was must have been the recycle bin on the M drive now you'll notice that we've actually not found my other AVI file which was uh, what was it called again? oh yes Mac Windows so that got deleted permanently so we've now got some restored files here and I'm just going to check them to make sure so we've got dollar images is a picture of a dog uh, the setup file which runs 26 page document now 26 page document ends in it says Prescience Glarus Turpus in them. this is just a random generated file so if I check it against that was the 26 page document if I check it again and it says the same here so that's good uh, I won't bother checking that one but you'll notice that we haven't restored the Mac Windows file. If I go to play the frets on file. Hi guys, this is a video on Windows. You can see it works. So we've record we've recovered five out of six files. So that's pretty good going for restoration. Uh, you can also search the vacant clusters, which I suppose if I did that it might have found this one. Um, but that 
that's pretty much it for restoration. Now we're going to try it and do it with glary and delete. So you can see it's got a quite a nice uh, interface to it. It's got upgrade now, but the things are free, so we don't need to worry about it. And we're going to choose drive M again, and we're just going to say search. And you can see, aha, we have our Mac Windows AVI file, and it says state is good, original pass is M, and the other five are very good. So we're just going to select these. You can actually select more than one in this program, Glary and Delete. I'm just going to press Restore, and I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop called Restore 2. I'm going to put them all in there. You see, it's now restoring the thing that Restoration couldn't find, which is interesting. So the most important thing is, does it work? Let's open Mac Windows. Ah, it doesn't work. So it's recovered the file but it doesn't play and you'll notice if I play the original Hi right, guys, this is a video that works and I copied it across so the Mac Windows file gets recovered but it doesn't work so images again, there's a picture of a dog uh, set up, runs and 26 page document ends in the prey, praise and that thing so both pieces of software have rec recovered 5 out of 6 files and because it was too big to be recycled it's actually been lost and we've lost the Mac Windows AVI file so unfortunately you can't recover large files by the looks of it but both of these programs seem to work okay so if you have a problem of um, I don't know if you have kids or anything or, and um, your files end up in the recycle bin and you accidentally delete them then you find you're missing files then download one of these pieces of software um, obviously you can try free and delete but I can't show you that because it froze um, and basically that's about it really um, make sure these files are installed on a, another drive than the one you're working on so um, if you can't do it then you've got no choice you'll have to do it on the same drive because if you do that you may end up overwriting clusters or whatever to um, overwriting files that you need to re restore so that's why I worked with the Drive M here and I've got them installed on Drive C so uh, these are two utilities if you know of any other ones which you think are better or if they work or if you've done tests on them and they work and things like that then let me know leave a comment but it seems that if you want to rec recover these files um, got documents and set up files and pictures then these programs actually do work. I've seen some things in forums saying data recovery software doesn't work, but we've just seen that it works because it's been deleted from the recycle bin and we've gotten back. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, please leave a comment, anything, if you find better software or if you don't like my video, um, whatever. So comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks for watching.